It's time to build another set to include in my Lego Winter Village for this year, and this was probably one of the first ones I bought for this year. It's this Lego Friends Ski Resort, and I got this for £45 from Argos when there was a little pricing error, because it's supposed to be £75, so I got a nice little discount, and it was just released. And just like any other Friends sets I'll be using, I won't use the mini dolls, but I might do some colour swaps and things like that. And then on the back of the box, it just gives you another little look of what it looks like some interior scenes and storytelling and things like that so let's get it open and interestingly this cheaper lego friend set had its instructions all safely packaged inside an envelope but this year's winter village set had them all loose and i had bent sticker sheets lego should do this with pretty much every set if there's multiple instruction booklets it just makes sense and we've also got this large plate and this flex tube technic axle as well included in this set are seven numbered bags and there are two bag number ones. Inside the instruction envelope we only get one instruction booklet but it is pretty thick and there's the sticker sheet as well and these are clear backed stickers so not everyone's favourite and there are a lot of them. And just like with most sets these days it has a little QR code so you can scan that and register it to get 20 insider points so I've already done that and then if we open up the instruction booklet we've got some adverts for the Lego Builder app how to use a brick separator and what you'll be building with each bag to put it all together. First up, we're starting with the little ski hill. So I've just finished building the first portion of the little hill here. Pretty cool. Very the the way the whole ramp ski hill bit itself gets locked into place, it's so satisfying. Everything fits so perfectly snug. Got some trees, the signposts, and there's a little cave down here with another little mini ramp inside. So that's pretty cool. We've got the mini doll and an action pose here. Yeah, good start. Bag two complete, beginning the foundations of the little ski cafe lodge going on. So yeah, continue it with bag number three. Bag three is complete with some more interior details and this vending machine here. I really like that. Got some nice sticker details. Got a trophy on the side. This little checkout counter, including a little step up so you can serve people at the window as well yeah this is better than i thought so far bag four complete we've added this really cool stairs and connected the two halves and it's quite a sizable model actually so i'm about to start bag number six but i'm already thinking about the color swaps that i want to make like i don't mind the blue color i'm thinking hmm, maybe i'll keep that originally i was thinking that has to go because it is a bit you know bright and out there but i think i might keep it Although the bright orange here, that probably will go. I probably will swap that out for medium nougat, just so it blends in a little bit more. And then same with the kind of turquoise window frames and door frames. Yeah, they'll have to go as well. Probably switch those to brown, maybe. Just so it blends in a bit more. But I like the blue. That, that's a nice pop of colour. Now it's time for the final bag, bag number seven. We've got some roof details going on. Some interesting techniques. Wow, I mean, this set just, it keeps on surprising me, but it is looking really good. And just like that, 324 steps, 240 pages later, this is complete. So, what do I like about it? What don't I like? Let's start off with the positives. I really like this build. It was fun to put together. It took longer than I expected. There are a lot of parts that go into it. And there are a lot of hidden details as well. As I was building it, for example, under the snow, we got a dropped coin. Although I don't really understand all the other colourful things going on under there. But the dropped coin was a nice detail. There's another hidden crystal, just like in the igloo set. I still don't know why they're in there, but they're there. And further up, when you're building up on the upper half of the slope, there's a spider inside as well, which kind of spooked me as I emptied out the parts, thinking, oh God, what's that doing in there? But even just looking at it from the exterior, it's got a really nice, cosy vibe. And sure, I talked about some colour swaps, and yeah, I've already started mapping out some parts I want to use instead, but even as it is, this set could work great in a winter village. Moving around to the back, you can see some more of the interior details with the cafe down the bottom. Although there isn't really any seating area, but you do have a nice little kitchen work area. And then a vending machine, and it looks like a little skiing trophy down there as well. And then outside around the back, you've got a little campfire where the hidden crystal is. And there's also another little secret slope, which is hidden behind some leaves. And another little cave, where it looks like there's some water coming out. And then moving up to the top floor, you've got the ski rental shop where you can buy some equipment with new helmets. And outside on the balcony are some ski poles and some skis. And hanging out off to the side is this wrench, and it looks like some sort of vice to me. So maybe you put your skis in there and do some repairs, but I'm not a snow sports expert, so I could be wrong. 
And apart from the trees looking like they're just kind of floating there, it really does seem like this was a building that's chopped in half, which I guess most friends and city style builds are, especially with the open back design. Like you can just imagine, oh yeah, the seating area does exist down here. There's more to the shop up here, or there's actually a way to get to the ski slope because yeah, that's one of the set's bigger downfalls is that it looks like you can climb the stairs and get to the top to go down the slope, but you can't, there isn't a way unless you kind of climb back up the slope. But yeah, as you can see, it's all kind of capped off at the end. And there's no suggestion like, oh, there should be something up here that you... But yeah, there, there isn't. The stairs only lead up to the second floor. But I guess that doesn't take away from too much of the fun. It just kind of takes away some of the realism. But, you know, this is a Lego set for friends. You know, it's nothing too extreme. But one thing that this set does really well is the building techniques. This is a Lego friend set rated 9+. plus. But let me tell you, some of the techniques to get the angles and everything in the slope like look how seamless this is it's pretty amazing how everything's just hinged and locked into place and once you add the extra tiles and slopes it just covers up any gaps and it comes together so well even the stairs it's a very simple build just clips onto a bar piece and swiveled around but it works so well using this flexible technic piece i don't know how else they would have achieved that look one thing i talked about at the beginning was the sticker sheet and how there was a lot of stickers but I think they're all used to good effect, for example on the side of the vending machine or the cash register there. Some extra details on the checkout upstairs, the logo out front, these advertisements, they just look really good. Sure, prints would have been nice, but in the end, I'm glad that they're there. And there's even this poster on the side, it looks like it's looking for a Yeti. And yes, that sticker is supposed to be wonky. Whilst there might be a lot of stickers in the set, we do get some nice prints, for example, with the chocolate bar, the bubble gum. The logs for the seats, the coins, and the smaller logs for the door handles. That's nice touches. I like that. And one of my favourite things about this set are these cups of hot chocolate with the whipped cream on top. You get three included, and they just look so nice. I want one. As for mini side builds, we don't get anything extreme apart from this little menu sign for the cafe. Now let's take a look at the close look at the mini dolls, and you get three included in this set. And a little fox as well. So as you can see, the ski slope isn't completely tiled off. There are just a couple of studs where you can attach minifigures using the minifigure action pose pieces. So it really adds some action to the slope. And this one's holding some sort of selfie GoPro action camera to vlog his way down there. And then we got this one who's a little bit special that I'll talk about in a moment. So here are the three mini dolls in question. I don't care for them too much and I don't know their names, but I know they do have names. But the great thing about mini dolls is that their hair accessories can be used on regular minifigures, which is all I care about. And speaking of hair accessories, these two come with helmets by default, but you also get spare hair pieces for them as well. This one comes with a hair piece by default, but you do get two spare helmets in the shop above, so you can give him one. And you might have noticed that he's got crutches. I'm not sure if he's supposed to be injured or disabled, but it's a nice bit of inclusion either way. And that's why he has this special little ski chair so he can still get to enjoy the fun. It's essentially just the Lego Friends version of the wheelchair piece on some skis, but you know, it works. And they use these antenna bars as ski poles because they're, you know, a bit taller than regular minifigures. And you get more up here with the red and lime green. They're meant to represent ski poles. At first, I wasn't sure what this animal was supposed to be. Was it a dog or a cat or something? But I think it's supposed to be like a fox. Maybe like an arctic fox because it's white. I'm no animal expert, but it is the typical Lego Friends style. And he does have like a little cheeky grin on his face. But you also get the regular minifigure style of Redbird. There were a lot of spare parts included in this set, but then again, there's a lot of parts in this set, so all this shouldn't be too surprising. Some of the more noteworthy ones were these little whip pieces to use as desserts or treats maybe, another little nano figure statue, and some printed tiles with the can, the coin, and the log. And I can't remember if I've seen one of these before. Usually the base of it is a different colour and the actual antenna is just black, but to see it all in light grey, that kind of surprised me. But if I had to pick out something that I really don't like about this set, it's that how obvious these Technic bricks stick out with the sand green and the dark grey. That one down there is kind of not too bad, but up here it's so blocky and out of place amongst the light grey that it just bothers me slightly. There were a lot of part recolours in this set, so it would have been nice if they could have recoloured those parts into light grey. And the sign down here uses this modified tile. So it's kind of only on one side. If they used a regular flag piece and a sticker on both sides, it would have looked better because then you'd be able to see the sign from both sides. Overall, I'm very happy and satisfied with this set. It was a fun build. It took longer than I expected. Sure, I might want to do some color swaps here and there, but even as it is, 
I do quite like it and it's a perfect addition to any winter village. And if you manage to get this on sale for like I did £45, that's amazing. £75 is almost winter village pricing and I don't know if it's quite up there on that level but anything on sale then absolutely get it if you're a winter village fan. I know it's Lego Friends, don't let that put you off because they've done some really great stuff in recent times. But yeah, I am very happy with this set. Do you have this one? Have you done any customizations? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys have done and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out the other videos on this channel or on one of my other channels as well. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends.